everybody, welcome back to our Origin Summer Preview 2016. I'm Zeke Garcia, I'm here with Lance. Meister. That's right, and we are taking a look at Guilds of London from Tasty Minstrel Games. And uh, we've got a setup here ready to go. This looks very Euro. Talk me through it a little bit. All right. Well, if you know nothing about Guilds of London, uh, this is from uh, Tony you know Bodell. Where it's set. Okay. Well, yes. It's <laughs> there you go. It's from Tony Bodell. You might know him from the game Snowdonia if you played that. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a game that he developed over a very, very long period of time, and and uh, we uh, obviously you know decided we were going to publish it. Um, this is a card-driven kind of area control game. If you're looking for like the the, the mechanisms or what have you. Um, the biggest, the, what you're trying to do in this game, obviously it's a victory point type of situation, but what you're trying to do is you're going to be using action cards uh, that will allow you to move your, uh, your, these are your livery men or basically your meeples, what have you, and you're going to be moving them out to these different guilds of London. And as the game progresses, you will add more tiles, add more guilds to the uh, guilds of London that are out here. And the process is is that once you get these out into these locations, each one of these you can see has a little number, like a 4, 4, 2, whatever. Uh -huh. And then after everybody has taken their turns and they've, they've moved out where they can possibly get their, their liverymen to, okay. they will then, any of them, you sat, you'll do like the, the elections basically for each one of these guilds. And as long as you have like the number that's on here or more of these pawns that are on the, these locations, then it will go into a voting situation where if somebody has majority, where like you have more, like so like over in this location, so there's four there, so in that location, there'd be four, you would vote that, and then the, the, the person that had that would reap the rewards of activating the tile. And But the, the trick is, is that as you play the game, you will be getting a hold of these neutral liverymen. And in turn, what happens is, is that if you have that before the, the, the tiles are decided upon, if you have if you have collected these through different processes, through cards or other guilds or what have you, okay. you're allowed to then you know take away you know, like other people's like and replace them <laughs> uh, with 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 theirs and then you can establish dominance on a tile Nasty. and then take it over instead you know and so like the game has and the, the cool thing about this it's all about timing because of the fact that you 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 satisfy the guilds like in, in process so you'll have different effects where you know like you'll have and this is not technically what it is i'm just kind of showing you you'll have different effects like when you take it over that'll allow you to like in here you actually get to collect the neutral liverymen okay and so then if you're over here in this location and you're like you were wearing this is a two you collected this neutral liverman, you didn't have one before, this player wasn't expecting that, they get over there, I'm gonna get this, you're like, no you're not, because I, this, because I did this one prior to that, the right. timing wise, right. I was able to, to satisfy that and, and take it over and, mm. and change things as the game goes on. And the really cool thing I love is, and I love games that do this, and I don't know about you, but I like, you know, it's all card driven, but each one of these cards has like all of this different information on the other side, it has, it has like a type of guild, and you'll notice that those correlate and those uh, with different things, but you can use them for like three different ways. Yeah, each card, that, each yeah. card can be used in a different. So, so you look at your cards and you'll say it doesn't match up, but then it becomes kind of a puzzle as to trying to figure out how you're going to use the different cards. You can use them because you have like you start off with only four of your liverymen on the, on the, this location, but then you can use cards to bring more. You know, basically you're hiring people and put them into the middle of Guild of London, okay. and then you can actually then use them if you can match the colors. You can get them to move out to other locations, and then there's actually actions on each one of the cards that mm -hmm. you can take. And I should mention before we move on a little bit, there is like actually like this location where you actually get to move off into like this uh, uh, this plantation area where you actually you're establishing dominance like off the board kind of like you're, you're sending people to go and work in Virginia and this is actually double sided. It's both uh, Virginia and uh, I don't know where Ulster is, but I, I probably somebody can tell me. But there, there's two different ways you can use that as well. So cool. And, and it's just yeah, I mean it's it's an ingenious design of like I said, it's just I love I like card driven games and um, it's very deterministic, but it's also you gotta outthink your opponents and like as far as um, setting yourself up like when you activate everything to like get ahead of them kind of way. So is this all uh, random or is this set and the rest is random? This and this are set. Everything else gets slowly built up and you know, like there's more and tiles than this. Throughout the game, I didn't take right. them all out of the box, but right. yeah, and you just keep growing it. And there's actually ways that later on through different actions and powers that people are allowed to add tiles and add more guilds on. And so you just you just keep building it up and then you, you play it over the course of a few turns and then whoever ends up with the most points uh, wins. Now there cool. is, I, I have, there's a few people that are like uh, I mentioned 
um, like the, the, some of the critics and like the reviews that are out there, they've said, well, like the, the iconography is a little difficult. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously the iconography is like that, so it can be uh, language independent. So anybody can kind of dive in and play the game. And all you have to do is like change the rules or what have you. Mm -hmm. But once you play the game and get past like the icons and like, and there's like a fantastic sheet that you get with the game that actually describes everything that's on there. Um, you know, it, it, it's pretty straightforward. So. Yeah, yeah. Let me put that over here so they can get a good look at that. Yeah, yeah. And that gives you pretty much the breakdown of all the tiles, the cards, right? Every, everything yep. you need to know. And like all the icons, familiarity is going to to let you go a little faster, not have to reference it so much. Absolutely. How many, how many players can this play? Uh, on this, as you can see, three to four. Well, well, two to four, I should say. So you can play with two, or that yeah, tile and is then, for three. Yeah, and then like you, know, the, and then you flip it over, and then this for is two. for the, the two on the other side. Cool. So it, the setup is slightly different. Obviously, um, this one like went over really, really well at the UK Game Expo. Mm -hmm. uh, they sold out of the copies here. Um, you know, we've we've got a few copies here at Origins, and then this is uh, slated for a Gen Con release, like okay. the the full print run, if you will. Very cool, very cool, and it's been getting a lot of buzz. A it has. People, a lot of people have been saying it's that they are enjoying it. It's. I think it's I the think, darling of the Euro crowd it's a, right I now. Think yeah. It's a new Euro darling. Absolutely. Yeah. So that is Guilds of London, and coming out later this year. You said. Uh, it, it, it's slated for August fourth, same August time as Gen Con. So. Gen Con. All right. Cool. So if you are here, maybe you can snag a copy, and if not, check it out at Gen Con. Very cool. Very cool. Good talking to you, my friend. Always. All right. That is Guilds of London, everybody, and thank you for tuning in. We'll see you.